Um, we're just going to do a, a quick run through of the new um, fodder budget that's available on pasture base uh, as of today. So if we just look here at the budget section and we open the fodder available budget, we can see that there's there's no fodder budget for this farm. So we'll just go over here and we'll add a new one. So we'll just, uh, for this example, say that this was done last month or this was the situation last month. Um, we'll hit next. So the first thing that we need to do with our, our fodder budget is select our, our stock types. So here we'll, we'll just select um, some milkers and some uh, maiden heifers for this farm. And then we'll we'll just put in the, the stock number. So we'll just go with uh, 100 cows and we'll go with, with 20 heifers here. So the next thing we need to do then is um, select the type of fodder that we have available. So we'll say that there is grass silage in the yard that we, we grew on the platform. And then we'll also say that there is um, some grass silage bales as well. So we'd say we have some homegrown ones and some purchased in feed as well. So here we just put in the, the size of the silage pit that we have and we just need the, the length the width of the pit and the height and then for each of the bales we'll, we'll put in the, the number that we have so we'll say there's 200 here and that there's 50 purchased in as well so then we we have our, our fodder available in the air so we can see that the, the total fodder available comes up here in the in the number of tons that we have and then we we'll just need to um uh alter our, our uh, full winter feed estimate so if we we click down here on the, the orange um, button we get this pop-up box here so you can just select the number of days that these animals are going to be housed so for these cows we'll say that they're going to be in for four months and we'll say that the heifer they're in for six months just for this example so then we can see that we get a a, a winter feed estimate here of, of 264 tons and we get the, the total fodder available of 212 tons and this gives us a deficit of, of about 50 tons so this just gives, gives the, the farmer an idea of, of how much um, fodder they're going to require over the winter and, and how much is currently available in the yard. The The final thing that we can do here is is look at the, the amount of meal that's going to be fed to these animals. So for the spring milkers we can say that there's going to be maybe four kilos of meal fed over the winter period and for the, the heifers we can say that there's going to be one kilo. Um, for this we can we can put in the number of days that they're going to they're going to get this so if they're going to be in for, for, for four months, they might be getting this for 30 days or the heifers might be getting it for, for all the days that they're in um, in into the in the house period. So we, we'll just update this and you can see that the requirement went down by a couple of tons and this is based on the amount of meal that's going to be fed to the animals. So this is the, the new uh, fodder budget that's available um, on pasture base and um, we'll look at, um, we'll look at following up on this uh, in another video as well.